Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to create a website absolutely free of cost using GitHub Pages. For that, first you have to create an account in GitHub. So navigate to github.com and sign up if you don't have an account. Once you create the account, you'll be seeing this screen. So next step is to create a repository. So here you have the option create repository, click here, it will take you to the creation page. So here you have to provide some data. So here you should type the repository name. So make sure you are providing the repository name in this format, which is username.github.io. So in this case, your application, your website URL will be exactly same as your repository name. So it, it will be short. So if you are not providing uh, the repository name in this format, your website URL will be a lengthy one. Description is optional. Make sure it is public. You can leave the other options as such and click on create repository. All right. So the repository is created. It's empty now. Now you have to add all the files, whatever files is needed for your website that should be added to this repository so in this video i'll take the example of a portfolio website so i'll be creating a portfolio website i'll be adding all the files required for the portfolio website in this repository okay so i'll make use of the free templates available so this is a free template uh, free portfolio template the license is MIT. So make sure the license and policies of usage before you download a free template. I have downloaded the uh, template. The so next step is to add these files to this repository. You have to uh, add all the files in this uh, template to this repository. For that, you have to clone this repository to your local machine, add the files to your local directory and push it to this repository. So we can clone this uh, repository to the local machine. I'm just copying the clone URL. Open the terminal and navigate to the directory where you want to clone. So I just navigate to uh, the directory where I want to clone this repository and uh, copy the clone URL. Type git clone the clone URL. All right, it's cloned. Now we can see the uh, repository in your local machine, local folder. So now you have to copy all the, the template, the template which you have downloaded, you have to copy it to this directory. Okay, so next step is to extract the template. All right. Okay, so it's extracted here. This contains a lot of other files which are not necessary for the uh, application for the website. So the files which are inside the public HTML, only these files are needed for the uh, application to run. So I'm just copying this, copying this and coming back to the repository folder, pasting it here. And I'm deleting the ex extract file and the main folder. I don't want this anymore. All right, we need all these many files. Now let's open the terminal and type git status. You can see the files, these, these assets folder components and uh, the index HTML file here as untracked. We need to uh, add these untracked files using this command git add. So all these files are added now. Next step is to commit. and push it to the main branch. I mean, we only have the main branch now. All right, it's been pushed. Let's see the repository. Refresh the page. You can see the files uh, coming up here in the GitHub repository. The first commit is being reflected. The next step is to navigate to the repository settings. You can see it here, click here. The left side, you can see the pages option. The pages option will be coming up here. Just click here. All the settings uh, about the GitHub pages is coming here. 
as of now there is no need to make any change we just keep it as such whatever uh, uh, settings are selected now just keep it as such just give it some time github pages requires some time for the application to set up let's refresh all right so once the application is up you will see this message your site is live at this uh, url just click here and your application is up and running your website is up you can see the template what you have selected is uh, been deployed to this url so this is what i mentioned uh, the repository name is same as your website uh, url if you are giving a different repository name then your uh, website url will be a lengthy one like github.com slash something something so make sure you are providing your repository name in this format so now that you have the template so uh, you need to change the things the name the all the other things you have to change for that we have to make these changes locally okay we have these files here let's open the index html in an editor all right so you can see the john doe here so just edit the name here maybe i'll change it to barack obama okay let's see now go back to the terminal and uh, type git status and you can see the index html showing as untracked which is the file which you edited just now you can check the difference as well here if you type git diff uh, you will see the uh, the john doe is been updated to barack obama now let's add the file commit it push it to the main branch let's go back to the repository <coughs> the name updated uh, commit is being reflecting here so github again requires uh, some time for the change to be reflected in this uh, portal so you have to uh, you have to wait for a few seconds all right it's reflecting so after almost uh, 10 seconds uh, it has been reflected the changes uh, likewise you can make whatever change you want to make all these things the images icons all these things you can make it locally add it uh, i mean push it to the repository and give it some time your changes will be reflected so that's it uh, for this video uh, if you like this content please consider subscribing i'll be uh, doing the same thing i mean we can achieve the same thing using google drive as well I'll be uh, explaining that in a different video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.